USC Trojans football. The USC Trojans football program, established in 1888, represents the University of Southern California in college football. USC is a member of the National Collegiate Athletic Association Division IFBS and the Pacific 12 Conference. The Trojans are a football powerhouse, and have been throughout NCAA history, claiming 11 national championships. As of 2013, 480 Trojans have been taken in the NFL draft, more than from any other university. The team is currently coached by Steve Sarkeesian. History 1888-1910 S USC first fielded a football team in 1888. Playing its first game on November 14th of that year against the Alliance Athletic Club, gaining a 16-0 victory. Frank Soffel and Henry H. Goddard were playing coaches for the first team which was put together by quarterback Arthur Carroll, who in turn volunteered to make the pants for the team and later became a tailor. USC faced its first collegiate opponent the following year in fall 1889, playing St. Vincent's College to a 40-0 victory. In 1893, joined the Intercollegiate Football Association of Southern California, the forerunner of the SCIAC, which was composed of USC, Occidental College, through Polytechnic Institute, Caltech, and Chaffee College. Pomona College was invited to enter, but declined to do so. An invitation was also extended to Los Angeles High School. Before they were named Trojans in 1912, USC athletic teams were called the Methodists, as well as the Wesleyans. During the early years, limitations in travel and the scarcity of major football playing colleges on the West Coast limited its rivalries to local Southern Californian colleges and universities. During this period, USC played regular series against Occidental, Caltech, Whittier, Pomona and Loyola. The first USC team to play outside of Southern California went to Stanford University on November 4, 1905, where they were trampled 16-0 by the traditional West Coast powerhouse. While the teams would not meet again until 1918, Stanford dropped football for rugby union during the intervening years. This was also USC's first game against a future Pac-12 conference opponent and the beginning of its oldest rivalry. During this period USC also played its first games against other future Pac-12 rivals, including Oregon State, 1914, California, 1915, Oregon, 1915, and Arizona, 1916. Between 1911 and 1913, USC followed the example of California and Stanford and dropped football in favor of rugby union. The results were disastrous as USC was soundly defeated by more experienced programs while the school itself experienced financial reverses. It was during this period that Owen Bird, a sports writer for the Los Angeles Times, coined the nickname Trojans, which he wrote was owing to the terrific handicaps under which the athletes, coaches and managers of the university were laboring and against the overwhelming odds of larger and better equipped rivals, the name Trojan suitably fitted the players. 1920s-1930s After several decades of competition, USC first achieved national prominence under head coach Gloomy Gus Henderson in the early 1920s. Another milestone came under Henderson in 1922, when USC joined the Pacific Coast Conference PCC, the forerunner of the modern Pac-12. Success continued under coach Howard Jones from 1925 to 1940 when the Trojans were just one of a few nationally dominant teams. It was during this era that the team achieved renown as the Thundering Herd, earning its first four national titles. 1940s-1950s USC achieved intermittent success in the years following Jones' tenure. Jeff Cravath, who coached from 1942 to 1950, won the Rose Bowl in 1943 and 1945. Jess Hill, who coached from 1951 to 1956, won the Rose Bowl in 1953. From 1957 to 1959, the Trojans were coached by Don Clark. The Pacific Coast Conference dissolved in 1959. 
USC joined the conference's other three California schools and Washington to form a new conference, the Athletic Association of Western Universities, under a new charter. After absorbing all of the PCC's final members except for Idaho, the AAWU changed its name to the Pacific Eight Conference in 1968, the Pacific Ten after the 1978 entry of Arizona and Arizona State, and the Pacific Twelve after the 2011 entry of Colorado and Utah. The Pac-12 officially claims the PCC's history as its own, despite the change in charter. 1960s-1970s the program entered a new golden age upon the arrival of head coach John McKay, 1960-1975. During this period the Trojans produced two Heisman Trophy winners, Mike Garrett and O.J. Simpson, and won four national championships, 1962, 1967, 1972 and 1974. McKay's influence continued even after he departed for the NFL when an assistant coach, John Robinson, 1976 to 1982, took over as head coach. Under Robinson, USC won another national championship in 1978, shared with Alabama. Ironically, USC defeated Alabama, 24-14, that same season, and two more players won the Heisman Trophy, Charles White and Marcus Allen. On September 12, 1970, USC opened the season visiting the University of Alabama under legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant and became the first fully integrated team to play in the state of Alabama. The game, scheduled by Bryant, resulted in a dominating 42-21 win by the Trojans. More importantly, all six touchdowns scored by USC team were by black players, two by USC running back Sam Bam Cunningham, against an all-white Crimson Tide team. After the game, Bryant was able to persuade the university to allow black players to play, hastening the racial integration of football at Alabama and in the South. 1980s-1990s In the 1980s, USC football did not realize a national championship, though it continued to experience relative success, with top 20 AP rankings and Pac-10 conference championships under head coaches Ted Tolner. 1983 to 1986 and Larry Smith 1987 to 1992 each coach led the team to a win in the Rose Bowl and USC was recognized among the nation's top 10 teams three times despite the moderate success of team during these years some alumni had grown accustomed to the program's stature as a perennial national championship contender in 1993 Robinson was named head coach a second time, leading the Trojans to a victory in the 1996 Rose Bowl over Northwestern. It was during this time that the Trojans were unable to defeat their rivals. They suffered winless streaks of 13 years, 1983-1995, including the 1994-17-17 tie, to rival Notre Dame and eight years, 1991-1998 to cross down rival UCLA which were unacceptable to many USC supporters. Under Robinson the Trojans were 2-2-1 against Notre Dame, but unable to beat UCLA. After posting a 6-6 record in 1996, and a 6-5 record in 1997, Robinson was fired. In 1998, head coach Paul Hackett took over the team, but posted an even more disappointing 19-18 record in three seasons than any of his recent predecessors. By 2000, some observers surmised that USC football's days of national dominance were fading. The football team's record of 37-35 from 1996 to 2001 was their second worst over any five-year span in history, only the mark of 29-29-2 from 1956 to 1961 was worse and the period marked the first and only time USC had been out of the final top 20 teams for four straight years. 2000 present In 2009, USC was named Team of the Decade by both CBSSPORTS.com and Football.com, as well as the Program of the Decade by SI.com, plus was number one in CollegeFootballNews.com's five-year program rankings, and was ranked number two in ESPN.com's prestige rankings among all schools since 1936, behind Oklahoma. 
Additionally, in 2009, ESPN.com ranked USC the second best program in college football history. In 2001, athletic director Mike Garrett released Hackett and hired Pete Carroll, a former NFL head coach. Carroll went 6 6 in his first year, losing to Utah in the Las Vegas Bowl, 10 6. Since then, his teams became highly successful, ranking among the top 10 teams in the country, with the exception of 2009 in which the team lost four regular season games. 2002 USC opened 3 2 in 2002, suffering losses to Kansas State and Washington State. However, the Trojans went on to win the rest of their games, completing the regular season 11-2 on the strength of senior quarterback Carson Palmer's breakout performance. After struggling for most of his collegiate career, Palmer excelled in the pro-style offense installed by new offensive coordinator Norm Chow. In fact, Palmer's performance, particularly in the season-ending rivalry games against Notre Dame and UCLA, impressed so many pundits that he went on to win the Heisman Trophy, carrying every region of voting and becoming the first USC quarterback to be so honored. Despite tying for the Pac-10 title, with Washington State, having the highest BCS strength of schedule rating, and fielding the nation's top defense led by safety Troy Polamalu, USC finished the season ranked number 5 in the BCS rankings. Facing off against BCS number 3 Iowa in the Orange Bowl, USC defeated the Hawkeyes 38-17. 2003 In 2003, highly touted but unproven redshirt sophomore Matt Leonard took over for Palmer at quarterback. Although his first pass went for a touchdown in a win over Auburn, the Trojans suffered an early season triple overtime loss to conference rival California in Berkeley. Nevertheless, Carroll guided the team to wins in their remaining games and they completed the regular season 11-1. Before the postseason, both the coaches poll and the AP poll ranked USC number number one, but the BCS, which also gave consideration to computer rankings, ranked Oklahoma first, another one-loss team but one that had lost its own Big 12 conference title game 35-7, with USC ranked third. In the 2003 BCS National Championship game, the Sugar Bowl, BCS No. 2 LSU defeated BCS No. 1 Oklahoma 21-14. Meanwhile, BCS No. 3 USC defeated BCS No. 4 Michigan 28-14 in the Rose Bowl. USC finished the season ranked No. 1 in the AP poll and was awarded the AP National Championship. LSU, however, won the BCS National Championship title for that year, prompting a split national title between LSU and USC. In the wake of the controversy, corporate sponsors emerged who were willing to organize an LSU-USC game to settle the matter. Nevertheless, the NCAA refused to permit the match-up. 2004 In 2004, USC was picked preseason number one by the Associated Press thanks to the return of Leon Art as well as sophomore running backs Lendale White and Reggie Bush. The defense, led by All-American defensive tackles Sean Cody and Mike Patterson, as well as All-American linebackers Lofa Tatechup and Matt Grutigode, was considered to be among the finest in the nation. Key questions included the offensive line, with few returning starters, and the receiving core which had lost previous year's senior Kiri Colbert and the breakout star of 2003, Mike Williams. Williams had tried to enter the NFL draft a year early during the Morris Claret trial when it was ruled that the NFL could not deny them entering the draft. The decision was appealed and overturned leaving Williams unable to enter the draft. When he applied to the NCAA for reinstatement of his eligibility, it was denied. Despite close calls against Stanford and California, the Trojans finished the regular season undefeated and headed for the 2004 BCS Championship game at the Orange Bowl. USC was the second team in NCAA football history to have gone wire to wire, ranked first place from preseason to postseason since the AP began releasing preseason rankings. The first was Florida State in 1999. 
three other schools went wire to wire before the existence of pre-season polls, Notre Dame in 1943, Army in 1945 and USC in 1972. Quarterback Leonard won the Heisman Trophy, with running back Bush placing fifth in the vote tally. The Trojans' opponent in the Orange Bowl, Oklahoma, were themselves undefeated and captained by sixth-year quarterback Jason White, who had won the Heisman in 2003. The game marked the first time in NCAA history that two players who had already won the Heisman played against each other. Most analysts expected the game to be close, as USC matched its speed and defense against the Oklahoma running game and skilled offensive line, but the reality proved to be far different. USC scored 38 points in the first half, and won the BCS National Championship game by the score of 55-19, making them the BCS champions and earning the team the AP National Championship as well. In June 2010, after a four-year investigation, the NCAA imposed sanctions against the Trojan football program for a lack of institutional control, including a public reprimand and censure, a two-year postseason ban, a loss of 30 scholarships over three years, and vacation of all wins in which Reggie Bush participated as an ineligible player, including the 2005 Orange Bowl, in which the Trojans won the BCS National Championship. These sanctions have been criticized by some NCAA football writers, including ESPN's Ted Miller, who wrote, It's become an accepted fact among informed college football observers that the NCAA sanctions against USC were a travesty of justice and the NCAA's refusal to revisit the travesty are a massive act of cowardice on the part of the organization. Following the NCAA sanctions, BCS Executive Director Bill Hancock stated that a committee would decide whether to vacate USC's 2004 BCS championship, but the final decision would be delayed until after the NCAA had heard USC's appeals against some of the sanctions. On July 20, 2010, Incoming USC President Max Nichols stated that the school would remove jerseys and murals displayed in Bush's honor from its facilities, and would return the school's copy of Bush's Heisman Trophy. On September 14, Bush announced that he would forfeit the Heisman and return his copy of the trophy. On May 26, 2011, the NCAA upheld all findings and penalties against USC in their infractions case on former players Reggie Bush and basketball player O.J. Mayo. The USC football team did not participate in the Pacific 12 football championship game, although they held the best record in the South Division, or a bowl game during the 2011 December season. The BCS announced June 6, 2011, that it had stripped USC of the 2004 title. But the Associated Press USC still recognizes USC as the 2004 AP national champion. 2005 The 2005 regular season witnessed a resuscitation of the rivalry with Notre Dame, after a last second play in which senior quarterback Matt Leonard scored the winning touchdown with help from a controversial push from behind by running back Reggie Bush, nicknamed the Bush Push. The year climaxed with a 66-19 USC defeat of crosstown rival UCLA. Running back Reggie Bush finished his stellar year by winning the Heisman Trophy, later returned by USC and reclaimed by the Heisman Trophy Trust considering Bush accepted improper benefits while at USC and was ineligible during the 2005 season, while Leonard finished third in the Heisman voting. Several other players also earned accolades, being named All-Americans, AP, football coaches, football writers, Walter Camp, ESPN.com, SI.com, CBSSportsLine.com, Rivals.com, CollegeFootballNews.com. These include QB Matt Laying Out, RB Reggie Bush, RB Lendale White, S. Darnell Bing, OT Ted to C. Lutui, OT Sam Baker, W. O. Dwayne Jarrett, C. Ryan Callal, O. G. Frederick Matua, and D. E. Lawrence Jackson. Additionally, O. L. Winston Justice did well enough to forego his senior year and enter the NFL draft. The regular season ended with two clear-cut contenders facing off in the Rose Bowl to decide the national championship. Both USC and Texas were 12-0 entering the game, although USC was the slight favorite, USC lost to Texas 41-38. 
as with the 2004 season, later NCAA investigations into alleged improper benefits given to Reggie Bush altered the official record of the 2005 Trojan season. All 12 wins from the 2005 season were officially vacated. 2006 For the 2006 football season, USC tried to rebuild its strength following the loss of offensive stalwarts laying out, Bush, and White, defensive leader Bing, and offensive lineman Matua, Justice, and Lutui. The Trojans developed their offense using unproven QB John David Booty and returning star receivers Dwayne Jarrett and Steve Smith along with second-year wideout Patrick Turner. Mark Sanchez, the highly touted QB of the recruiting class of 2005, Mission via Joe High School, was widely viewed as a dark horse to win the starting job from Booty, although Booty was named the starter at the end of fall training camp. The starting tailback position was initially a battle between returning players Chauncey Washington and Desmond Reed, both recovering from injuries, and heralded recruits Staffron Johnson, Dorsey High School in Los Angeles, C.J. Gable, Alan Bradford and Emmanuel Moody. USC had many experienced players as well, including linebacker Dallas Sartz and wide receiver Chris McFoy, who had already graduated with their bachelor's degrees and were pursuing master's degrees. Fullback Brandon Hancock would have been part of that group as well until an injury ended his collegiate career. Additionally, fifth year, redshirt, senior linebacker Oscar Lua, running back Ryan Powdrell and offensive lineman Carl Williams were expected to either start or play frequently in 2006. The 2006 Trojans came out strong, easily defending their top 10 status throughout the year. As the season progressed, USC began to display marked inconsistencies, as their margins of victory began to slip. The first setback proved to be a 31-33 loss to unranked Oregon State, in which the Beavers were able to repeatedly capitalize on several Trojan turnovers. Even though USC dropped initially in the polls, they worked their way back up. After defeating both Cal and Notre Dame, they held the number two spot heading into the final week of the season. The Trojans were considered to be a virtual lock for the national championship game against Ohio State and just needed to beat UCLA. USC was shocked in the final game of the season, losing to crosstown rival UCLA 13-9. This eliminated the Trojans from championship contention and opened the door for Florida to become Ohio State's opponent. The Trojans did earn a Rose Bowl bid and defeated Michigan 32-18. It was the Trojans' fifth straight BCS Bowl appearance. On January 6, 2007, six days after the Rose Bowl game, USC kicker Mario Danilo was found dead at the bottom of the White Point Cliff near Point Vermin Lighthouse in San Pedro, California. 2007 In July 2007, ESPN.com named USC its number one team of the decade for the period between 1996 and 2006, citing the Trojans' renaissance and dominance under Coach Carroll. The 2007 Trojans were the presumptive number one pick before the season. However they lost two games, including a major upset to 41-point underdog Stanford, and they did not get into the national championship game. However, the Trojans did win their sixth conference championship and defeated Illinois in the 2008 Rose Bowl game. Under Carroll, USC has been known to attract numerous celebrities to its practices, including USC alumni Will Ferrell, George Lucas, LeBar Burton and Sophia Bush as well as Snoop Dogg, Henry Winkler, Kirsten Dunst, Nick Lachey, Dr. Dre, Spike Lee, Alyssa Milano, Flea, Wilma Valderrama, Jake Gyllenhaal and Andre 3000. The Trojans have also benefited from LA's lack of NFL teams, with the LA Rams and Raiders having left in the early 1990s, combined with the Trojans' 21st century success, leading them to sometimes be called LA's de facto NFL team. During Pete Carroll's first eight years as head coach, USC has lost only one game by more than seven points a 27-16 loss at Notre Dame in his first season, until the second half of the 2009 season. The 21st century has also seen the rise of USC football's popularity in the Los Angeles market, without any stadium expansions, 
USC has broken its average home attendance record four times in a row, reaching 77,804 in 2003, 85,229 in 2004, 90,812 in 2005 and over 91,416 with one game to go in 2006, the capacity of the Coliseum is 92,000. As of 2011, USC is one of only three of the 120 football bowl subdivision, formerly Division 1A, teams to have never played a football championship subdivision, formerly Division 1AA, teams since the split of Division 1 football in 1978. 2008 After beating Penn State in the Rose Bowl, USC finished the season 12-1 and ranked number two in the coaches' poll and number three in the AP poll. The 2008 season culminated in USC's seventh straight Pac-10 championship, seventh straight BCS bowl appearance and seventh straight finish in the top four of the AP poll. This also marked seven consecutive seasons where USC has not lost a game by more than seven points. Their only loss was on the road against Oregon State, which was mentioned in the preseason as a possible upset. 2009 After beating Boston College in the Emerald Bowl, USC finished the season 9-4, and ranked number 20 in the coaches' poll and number 22 in the AP poll. USC ended its seven-year streak of Pac-10 championship, BCS bowl appearance and top four finish of the AP poll. The Trojans started the season strong beating number 8 Ohio State at the Horseshoe. But they would lose to four Pac-10 teams. Washington, Oregon, Stanford, and Arizona. Blowout losses to Oregon 47-20 and Stanford 55-21 marked a turning point in USC's season and sparked debate in the media about the future dominance of USC football. After the season concluded, head coach Pete Carroll resigned to accept a head coaching position with the Seattle Seahawks. In 2009, USC was named Team of the Decade by both CBSSPORTS.com and Football.com, as well as the Program of the Decade by SI.com, plus was number one in CollegeFootballNews.com's five-year program rankings, and was ranked number two in ESPN.com's prestige rankings among all schools since 1936, behind Oklahoma. 2010 On January 12, 2010 Lane Kiffin was hired as the head coach. This came following Pete Carroll's departure from USC to become the head coach of the Seattle Seahawks. In June 2010, after a prolonged four-year investigation into whether former USC running back Reggie Bush and his family had accepted financial benefits and housing from two sports agents in San Diego while he was a student athlete at USC, the NCAA imposed sanctions against the Trojan football program for a lack of institutional control, including a two-year postseason ban, the loss of 30 scholarships over three years, and the vacation of all wins in which Bush participated as an ineligible player, including the 2005 Orange Bowl, in which the Trojans won the BCS National Championship. These sanctions have been criticized by some NCAA football writers, including ESPN's Ted Miller, who wrote, It's become an accepted fact among informed college football observers that the NCAA sanctions against USC were a travesty of justice, and the NCAA's refusal to revisit the travesty are a massive act of cowardice on the part of the organization. The 2010 team finished 8-5, 5-4 in the Pac-10, and was ineligible for postseason play. 2011. On February 9, 2010, Commissioner Larry Scott announced that the Pac-10 would be considering expanding to 12 schools. The Pac-10 conference officially became the Pac-12 conference following the addition of Colorado and Utah on July 1, 2011. In 2011, although USC finished in first place in its conference division with a 7-2 record, due to their ineligibility to participate in a bowl game, the UCLA Bruins became champions of the inaugural Pac-12 South Division. In the final regular season game, USC's 50-0 win over UCLA was the largest margin of victory in the rivalry since 1930.
the release of the December 4, 2011 final regular season Associated Press college football poll marked USC's return to national prominence with the number 5 ranking. The Trojans were not eligible for postseason play and did not participate in any bowl game. When the final AP football poll was released USC dropped one spot to the number 6 ranking. 2012. USC was ranked number one in the Associated Press preseason college football poll for the seventh time in school history and the first time in five seasons, edging out number two Alabama and number three LSU. However, the early season expectations would backfire as the Trojans would eventually finish 7-5, 5-4 versus Pac-12 opponents, including losses to both UCLA and Notre Dame. The team finished second in the Pac-12 South standings and unranked in any poll. 2013 The 2013 USC Trojans football team finished the season 10-4, 6-3 in Pac-12 play to finish in a tie for second place in the South Division. They were invited to the Las Vegas Bowl where they defeated Fresno State. Head coach Lane Kiffin, who was in his fourth year was fired on September 29 after a 3-2 start to the season. He was replaced by interim head coach Ed Orgeron. At the end of the regular season, Washington head coach Steve Sarkeesian was hired as the new head coach beginning in 2014. This prompted Orgeron to resign before the bowl game. Clay Helton led the Trojans in the Las Vegas Bowl. 2014. Rivalries. In the first 30 years of USC football, the school maintained rivalries with local Southern California schools like Occidental and Pomona, but these ended by the 1920s when USC joined the PCC and grew into a national caliber team. A perfect day. A perfect day, a phrase created by the school's football announcer Pete Arbogast. To any USC fan is a USC win coupled with losses by Notre Dame and UCLA. The last perfect day occurred on November 26, 2011, when USC beat UCLA and Notre Dame lost to Stanford. There have been 35 perfect days since 1960. The opposite of a perfect day occurred on November 17, 2012 when UCLA defeated USC and Notre Dame defeated Wake Forest. Notre Dame USC plays the University of Notre Dame each year for the jeweled Schiller. The intersectional game has featured more national championship teams, Heisman Trophy winners, All-Americans, and future NFL Hall of Famers than any other collegiate matchup. The two schools have kept the annual game on their schedules since 1926, except 1943-45 because of World War II travel restrictions despite the fact that it enjoys neither the possibility of acquiring regional bragging rights, nor the import of intra-league play that drive most rivalries. Notre Dame leads the series 44-34. The game is often referred to as the greatest intersectional rivalry in college football. UCLA USC's rivalry with UCLA is unusual in that they are one of a few pairs of Division IFBS programs that share a major city. Both are within the LA city limits, approximately 10 miles, 16 kilometers, apart. Until 1982, the two schools also shared the same stadium, the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. The Crosstown rivals play each year for city bragging rights and the Victory Bell and often for the right to go to the Rose Bowl. The UCLA rivalry tends to draw the focus of student supporters since many USC students have friends or family members attending that other school, of course, many UCLA students refer to their USC friends in the same manner, and many Southern California families are evenly divided between Trojan Cardinal and Bruin Blue. USC leads the all-time series 46-30-7 ties. Stanford Stanford is USC's oldest rival, in a series that dates to 1905. In the early years of football on the West Coast, the power sat in the Bay Area with the Stanford-Cal rivalry and USC rose to challenge the two established programs. 
During the early and mid-20th century Stanford football occasionally enjoyed periods of great regional success on the gridiron. USC and Stanford, being the two private universities with major football teams on the West Coast, naturally drew the ire of one another. During the early 2000s, however, Stanford had not maintained their earlier success and the rivalry had faded to many USC fans. The rivalry was renewed with the arrival of Jim Harbaugh at Stanford in 2007. Harbaugh defeated Carroll 2-1 in their three matchups with both victories occurring in the Coliseum. In the 2009 meeting, USC sustained their worst loss in 43 years and surrendered the most points to an opponent, a record that would stand for three seasons. The game led the Los Angeles Times to declare that Stanford was at the top of the USC must-kill list. Harbaugh added another win in 2010 against Carroll's successor Lane Kiffin before leaving after that season to become head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. Stanford's recent success against USC has continued under Harbaugh's successor David Shaw, who defeated Kiffin in their two meetings, 2011 and 2012. All told, Stanford has defeated USC in five of the last six meetings, winning in 2007, 2009, 2010, 2011, and 2012. California The University of California, Berkeley has had a rivalry with USC since 1915. The only team to ever lose more than 60 games to USC, Cal has not defeated USC since 2003. In the mid-2000s, Cal had moderate success against USC, with USC going 4-1 against Cal, USC lost in triple overtime to California in 2003, USC won a close 2004 game 23-17, the 2006 game decided the Pac-10's BCS berth, and USC winning 24-17 in a rainy 2007 contest. The rivalry regressed after 2007, with the resumption of lopsided double-digit USC victories, in 2008, USC shut down California's offense to just three points, with a 17-3 Trojan victory. In 2009, USC once again held Cal's offense to only three points, steamrolling to a 30-3 victory. The 2010 game was lopsided from the beginning, by half-time USC had scored 42, while Cal did not score at all with this 42-0 half-time score tying the largest deficit at half-time in Cal's history, and USC controlled the rest of the game, winning 48-14. In 2011, the Trojans defeated the Bears, 30-9. In 2012, USC beat Cal 27-9. The Trojans have now won the past nine meetings. Traditions Tailback U Tailback U is a nickname that emerged during the regime of Hall of Fame college football coach John McKay, 6075, and continued by his former offensive coordinator and immediate successor, John Robinson, 7682. Running plays of this era included Coach McKay's well known student body right play, which emphasized hard nosed running in the pass friendly Pacific 10 Conference. McKay and Robinson produced a number of top-rated players at the tailback position, including four Heisman Trophy winners. Standouts included Mike Garrett, O.J. Simpson, Anthony Davis, Ricky Bell, Charles White, and Marcus Allen. Coach Pete Carroll, January 2009, continued the trend in later years with current NFL players Reggie Bush, Lendale White and Justin Fugass. Number 55 a recent tradition has a selected linebacker wearing the number 55. The number cannot be taken but is assigned by the head coach. Pete Carroll had, at times, refrained from assigning the number if he did not think any player was worthy of it. The linebacker wearing number 55 is typically regarded as the anchor of the defense. Notable players who have worn number 55 for USC include Junior So, Willie Mischnist, Marcus Steele, Chris Claiborne and Keith Rivers. So, Mischnist, Claiborne and Rivers were all top 10 picks in the NFL draft. Freshman Lamar Dawson is the most recent number 55.
the last non-linebacker to wear number 55 was offensive center John Katnick in 1989. Fight on! A phrase commonly used by Trojan fans to greet one another or show support for the team, which is borrowed from the fight song of the same name that is, Fight on for all SC slash our men fight on to victory. The two-finger V salute for victory is often given in accompaniment. The term came from a LA Times article in regard to a USC versus Stanford track meet. Though USC lost by a considerable amount, LA Times writer Owen Bird wrote that USC fought on like Trojans. Shortly after changing USC's team name from the Fighting Methodists to the Trojans in 1912, Fight On was taken as its slogan amongst fans. Current staff Facilities Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum The Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum is one of the largest stadiums in the U.S. USC has played football in the Coliseum ever since the Grand Stadium was built in 1923. In fact, the Trojans played in the first varsity football game ever held there, beating Pomona College 23-7 on October 6, 1923. The Coliseum was the site of the 1932 Summer Olympics and hosted the opening and closing ceremonies and track events of the 1984 Olympic Games. Over the years, the Coliseum has been home to many sports teams besides the Trojans, including UCLA football, the NFL's Los Angeles Rams and Raiders, the Los Angeles Chargers in 1960 of the AFL, and Los Angeles Dodgers baseball, including the 1959 World Series. The Coliseum has hosted various other events, from concerts and speeches to track meets and motorcycle races. The Coliseum has a present full capacity of 92,000 seats, almost all are chairback seats. The Coliseum is located on 17 acres, 69,000 m2, in Exposition Park, which also houses museums, gardens and the Los Angeles Sports Arena. It has also earned the nickname, the Grand Old Lady. Both the Coliseum and Sports Arena are managed and operated by USC under a master lease agreement with the LA Memorial Coliseum Commission. Howard Jones Field Brian Kennedy Field The USC football team practices on campus at Howard Jones Field, which was expanded in the fall of 1998 to include Brian Kennedy Field. In early 1999, Goose Gate, named for the popular longtime assistant coach Marv Gu, was erected at the entrance to the practice field. The John McKay Center at USC Opened in 2012, the $70 million, 110,000 square foot athletic and academic center named after legendary football coach John McKay is home to the USC Trojan Football Department. The building houses meeting rooms, coaches offices and a locker room for the football program, as well as the Stevens Academic Center, including space for tutoring, counseling, study and computer rooms for student athletes, a weight room, an athletic training room and a state-of-the-art digital media production facility for all of USC's 21 sports. The centerpiece of the McKay Center is the two-story video board in the Parker Hughes Atrium, which can display six big-screen televisions at once as well as promotional videos and graphics. The building has a 60,000-square-foot basement includes weight room, athletic training room, locker rooms and players' lounge, a 25,000-square-foot ground floor with student-athlete academic services center, reception area and outdoor courtyard, and a 25,000-square-foot second floor with football coaches' offices, football team meeting rooms, outdoor patio and a state-of-the-art video production facility. The John McKay Center is adjacent to Heritage Hall, the Galen Dining Center, and the Brian Kennedy and Howard Jones Fields. Records and Results Results versus AP Top 10 Opponents USC's record against AP Top 10 Opponents last 10 years Season Records Awards Team Awards National Titles USC claims 11 national titles, including 7 from the Wire Service AP Poll and or Coaches Poll.
two of USC's championships, 1928 and 1939, are based on the Dickinson system, a formula devised by a University of Illinois professor that awarded national championships between 1926 and 1940. The Dickinson system is cited in the official 2010 NCAA FBS record book as a legitimate national title selector. USC's claim is consistent with other FBS programs that won the Dickinson title. In 2004, USC recognized the 1939 squad as one of their national championship teams. The 2004 team was forced to vacate the final two games of its season, including the 2005 Orange Bowl due to NCAA sanctions incurred as a result of loss of institutional control, and namely, in connection with Reggie Bush. USC appealed the sanctions, delaying consideration of vacating USC's 2004 championship by the BCS. Ultimately, USC lost the appeals and forfeited the 2004 BCS championship. The AP has stated that it will not vacate its 2004 championship awarded to USC, and hence the Trojans retain a share of the national title. Here are the years USC recognizes a national championship. USC teams have also been selected as national champions in six other years, 1929, 1933, 1976, 1979, 2002, 2008, by various nationally published rating systems or voters. These rating systems are not generally viewed as part of process of selecting the national championship. USC does not claim to have won titles in any of these years. Pacific 12 Conference Titles The Trojans have suffered only three losing seasons since 1961 and have captured 36 PCC Pac-10 slash Pac-12 titles including 7-7 seven seven consecutive Pac-10 titles from 2002 to 2008, 2004 and 2005 Pac-10 titles were later vacated due to NCAA sanctions. This gives them the fourth most conference championships of any NCAA school, and twice as many as any other Pac-12 member team. Bowl Games The Trojans have played in 49 bowl games, a total that trails Alabama's 58 bowl appearances, Texas's 50 bowl appearances, Tennessee's 49 bowl appearances, and Nebraska's 48 bowl appearances. USC has the highest winning percentage in bowl games, .653, among teams with at least 15 bowl appearances. Finally, USC's 32 Rose Bowl appearances and 24 victories are the most of any school in a single bowl. Individual Awards Individual players have won numerous accolades with six officially recognized Heisman Trophy winners, 38 College Football Hall of Fame inductees and 157 All-Americans. USC's first consensus All-American was offensive guard Bryce Taylor in 1925, who notably excelled despite missing his left hand, and who was one of USC's first black players. Heisman Trophy winners and retired numbers Seven USC players have been awarded the Heisman Trophy. All of them, with the exception of Reggie Bush, have also their numbers retired by the Trojans. Bush's Heisman was forfeited in 2010 after an NCAA investigation ruled him ineligible to participate as a student athlete during his trophy season. Notes 1. Although the number is not officially retired, the Trojans have not reissued it. All-Century Trojan Football Team Selected by Fan Vote, published in the Orange County Register, November 17, 1999 All-Time USC Football Team Chosen by Athon Sports in 2001 Other Individual Awards Coaches Paul Bear Bryant Award, Home Depot Coach of the Year Award, Royals Award College Football Hall of Fame inductees other notable individual accomplishments Heisman finalists Jim Sears, HBS, 7th in 1952, John Arnett, HB, 10th in 1956, O.J. Simpson, TB, 
second in 1967, Anthony Davis, TB, second in 1974, Ricky Bell, TB, third in 1975 and second in 1976, Charles White, TB, fourth in 1978, Paul McDonald, QB, sixth in 1979, Rodney Pete, QB, second in 1988, K. Sean Johnson, WR, seventh in 1995, Matt Lane QB, 6th in 2003 and 3rd in 2005, Mike Williams, WR, 8th in 2003, Matt Barkley, QB, 6th in 2011, Mayor Kais Lee, WR, 4th in 2012. Notable players Trojans in the NFL USC has had more players, 484, and more first-round NFL draft picks, 77, than any other college. 162 Trojans have been selected to the NFL Pro Bowl, while a Trojan has played in all but two Super Bowls. NFL All-Pro Pro Bowl Nate Barriga, Carson Palmer, Troy Polamola, Junior So, Mark Carrier, Bruce Matthews, Clay Matthews, J.R., Clay Matthews III, Marlon McKeever, Joey Browner. Pro Football Hall of Fame Frank Gifford, H.B., 1977, Ron Mix, O.T., 1979, Morris Red Borgerow, E., 1981, O.J. Simpson, R.B., 1985, Willie Wood, D.B., 1989, Anthony Munoz, O.T., 1998, Ronnie Lott, D.B., 2000, Lynn Swan, W.R., 2001, Ron Yarry, O.T., 2001, Marcus Allen, R.B., 2003, Bruce Matthews, O.T., O.G., C., 2007. Current players Coaches Jeff Fisher, C.B., current head coach of the St. Louis Rams, former head coach of the Tennessee Titans. Mike Holmgren, QB, former head coach, Seattle Seahawks, Green Bay Packers, Super Bowl XXXI champions, Sam Anno, LB, USC assistant coach, Rocky Sito, LB, Seattle Seahawks assistant coach, Hudson Hook, OL, offensive line coach of the Dallas Cowboys, Jim Fassel, QB, former head coach, New York Giants, Super Bowl. Former offensive coordinator of the Baltimore Ravens, Kennedy Polamola, R.B., USC assistant coach. Broadcasters Frank Gifford, R.B., former Monday Night Football commentator, Pat Hayden, Q.B., former NBC color commentator for Notre Dame Games, current USC athletic director, Sean Salisbury, Q.B., former ESPN NFL analyst, Paul McDonald, Q.B., Analyst for USC Radio Broadcast, Lynn Swan, WR, ABC Sports Commentator. Ran unsuccessfully for Governor of Pennsylvania, Petros Papadakis, RB, FSN Commentator, John Jackson, WR, Sideline Reporter Analyst for USC Radio Broadcast in 2013 only, FSN Commentator, Jason Seahorn, DB, in 2005, Seahorn joined Fox Sports Net and is currently a panelist on their Sunday NFL pregame show, Bob Chandler, WR, former Los Angeles Raiders broadcast team, Rodney Pete, QB, panelist on FSN's Best Damn Sports Show period, Tony Bozelli, OT, Westwood One Radio Network, K. Sean Johnson, WR, ESPN. Actors Entertainment Industry Nate Barragar, CG 1929 All-American, Ward Bond, O.L., Aaron Rosenberg, T., John Wayne, T., O.J. Simpson, R.B., Alan Graff, G. Media Radio Flagship, KSPN 710 AM in Los Angeles. KLAA 830 AM in Orange, California, is the overflow station when there is a conflict with another game airing on KSPN. Spanish language radio flagship, KTNQ 1020 AM in Glendale, California. Broadcasters, Pete Arbogast, play-by-play, -play, Paul McDonald, analyst, 
and John Jackson, sideline reporter, Spanish language broadcasters, Pepe Mantilla, play by play, Daniel Ariola, analyst play by play, and Erica Gatza, analyst. Past broadcasters, Tom Kelly, Lee Hacksaw Hamilton, Tim Ryan, Larry Kahn, Mike Walden, Chick Hearn, Petros Papadakis, Frederick Gallagher, and Mike Lamb, among the most recent USC radio broadcasters. Until 1995, radio station KNXAM 1070 in Los Angeles was the school's football flagship station. From 2001 to 2006, KMPCAM 1540 was the Trojans' flagship station. Pete Arbogast, who has called Trojans football for 14 of the last 20 seasons, announced his sixth Rose Bowl game on January 1, 2009. Arbogast also called the Rose Bowl game for USC for the university's campus radio station, KSCR, in 1978 and 1979, public address announcer, Eric Smith. Future non-conference opponents Recruiting USC Trojans Football Scout.com Team Recruiting Ranking